Hello, I'd like to tell you something about our MSc Biodiversity and Conservation at Queen Mary, University of London, in collaboration with the Royal Botanic Gardens Kew. The Royal Botanic Gardens Kew is a World Heritage Site with enormous global outreach and is making a difference to biodiversity um, and conservation globally. At Queen Mary, which is a Russell Group University, we have deep expertise in ecology, evolution and biodiversity genomics and many, many fields related to that. Our degree, which runs over one year, is split into one half talk material and one half project material. And in that project material, we aim to get you to a state where you can publish your material, um, hopefully at the end of the period, which will enhance your career prospects should you wish to go to do an MS uh, PhD. Now the talk material is in, uh, has six units of talk material, which are called modules. Four of those modules are before Christmas and two are after Christmas. So you start in September, you do four modules till Christmas and the module structures are each two weeks of talk material followed by one week of self-directed learning where you'll submit a major piece of coursework. Then you move on to the next module. At the end of the first four modules running up to Christmas, you will become expert in the cutting edge understanding of biodiversity and conservation, the latest published research on uh, statistics and data analysis to prepare you for doing your project work, um, on things like red listing, and also you can choose one of two streams, a stream which is more, more practical based, uh, for example, how do you actually monitor conservation value of land, or more theoretical side, for example, what happens if a species moves in or out of a food web, how does it affect that food web structure. After Christmas, there's another module of this type, and then you begin your project. During your project phase, you will also go to a uh, field trip, and you have a choice of one or two field one of two field trips. One of the field trips is to Borneo, which is uh, a terrestrial ecosystem deep in the jungle and the most amazing wildlife hotspot. Here last year there was uh, Gibbon, for example, singing above the lecture theatre so loudly that the lecture had to be topped until it stops until the Gibbon moved on. The life in the jungles here are just as superb. The hums with insects, the, uh, the, the plant life, the fungal life, the mammal life, the insect life, the bird life is all astonishing. The alternative is to look at is to go to Cape Verde and here on Cape Verde the students get integrated into marine biology conservation projects and they focus for example on the study of loggerhead sea turtles and get involved in their conservation or they study the movements of marine animals. Um, either way they get deeply involved on both these field trips in conservation. Uh, for example back to Borneo students can choose to study what happens when the, the jungle gets trashed, cut down or converted to other uses, what happens to the biodiversity. Whilst on Cape Verde, they, their student efforts have helped recover turtle populations across these islands, turning these islands into a major hotspot for loggerhead turtle conservation. Um, the research projects which occurs, begin after Christmas, uh, as obviously a major piece of work. And as I say, we design these projects so that if all goes well, if the project is successful, uh, if you enjoy it and you have a little bit of luck, can get uh, to a state of publication. And certainly that's our aim. And in fact, you'll write your project up as if it were to be published so that it's ready to go as if uh, for a journal. So we're not asking you to write a report that then has to be rewritten for a publication in a journal. It will be written ready for publication should it be suitable. Every year, many, many of our students publish. Uh, the projects are bewildering in choice. You'll have such a choice. Many students travel, others stay locally and study, for example, genome biology, you know, using computers. 
Um, still others will study be doing ecology projects, evolution projects. It goes on and on. Your problem will be choice in projects rather than uh, anything else. You'll want to do so many of the projects and you'll have to choose. Our students, I think, are happy when they leave. Certainly many of them go on to jobs in this area. And um, there is a growth industry, of course, in biodiversity and conservation as we're becoming more and more aware of its value to the world and to human health. Um, many students go on to do PhDs. Others have careers in biodiversity and conservation in industry, in biotechnology industries, for example, in conservation organisations around the world, um, in botanic gardens, in zoological institutes and institutes of all sorts, universities, uh, conservation organisation, government organisations and so on. Anyway, if you'd like to know more, please do contact us. Uh, go to Queen Mary University of London and search for MSc Biodiversity and Conservation at Queen Mary University of London. Find out more and see when our next open days will be where you can meet us and ask us questions. Thank you. Goodbye.